Hi everyone, it's Janice Sullivan, and look what I got in the mail. Yes, it's a cool photo dojo iris set for my iPhone, and I'm super excited to share it with you, so let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to go ahead and take off the plastic. We don't need that, right? And here's the box. I'm going to open it now. So basically it says, three lens set wide macro, that's the reason why I got it, and fisheye. And I plan to use it this weekend, so I wanted to do this quick short unveiling or unboxing just so you can see what it looks like and how it comes in the mail. So it's from, I'll, I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check it out. But I have to say that what influenced me to do, I've been wanting to get this for a while. This is another little toy and I keep saying to myself, do I really need it? Because I'm I, I, my iPhone shots are really just for, it's kind of like my, um, my iPhone is basically my point and shoot. The camera is good enough now that I can actually print those images from the iPhone and they look great printed. So I pretty much have done all my macro with my professional camera, my Canon 5D3. But I saw this person's blog post and it really got me going. So here is, here it is, let me make sure. I'm doing this for my from my computer again because I'm trying to do this fast so it looks like it just comes off Whoa, something fell <laughs> is that the that's one of the lenses so here are the lenses see this is looks like let's open this there's a lens and it kind of gives you looks like it's pretty easy to set up so I will do that it comes with some other stuff that I have no idea what that's for, but we will find out. But let's go ahead and set this up and I will let you know how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, when I first started playing with this with my camera, uh, I did have, I have a hard time doing these things. I'm not very good when it comes to actually uh, putting things together. So um, there is a little piece, I'll show you this. This little piece right here, look for your phone. When I bought it, I have a 6 Plus uh, iPhone. So this goes in between, you can see it right here, in between my um, Otter box. And this way it will hold the lens, and I'll show you in a sec. If you don't have, you know, anything like this, if you don't have a case, then you don't then they've given you adapters like this so you don't have to have a case in order to use this so you can always adapt with this goodie in here once you get it lined up i'll show you right now okay so at first i didn't understand what they were talking about there's this little doodad right here and then there's these little numbers with little gadgets and they, what they wanted you, to, what they want you to do, and at first it took me a little while to figure it out because maybe I'm a numbskull, I don't know. But they want you to make sure that it's flushed. So um, for me too, let's see if I can show you in the camera. Let's go this way, it seems like I'm blowing out. So two is flush, so that's straight through. And if you look sideways, you can tell if, if you look sideways while you're pushing this, there's three different ways and they just want it flushed. Once you know that two is the magical number instead of one or three, then there is, this is where the, the lens goes and there's like a little notch right here. So you put, you take the number, like my number is two, so I will find that. My number is two. And I'm gonna take that two and I'm gonna line it up with the, oh, I had one there, but I'm gonna line it up. Where are you two? Here's two. And I'm gonna line it up with this notch right here and I'm just gonna place it right in 
and then just make sure it clicks in and what it does is that's like the perfect way to once you do this then it for the optics it lines it up I actually I didn't put that in before and I put my lens in I couldn't get it out I was so pissed I had to use a um, I know we shouldn't be doing this but I had to push my lens out with these little holes in here gosh darn it I need to get used to this usually I'm doing my videos on my camera but today I'm just doing it on my Logitech so I actually pushed the lens out through this which is really bad but because I didn't put that little adapter in um, now easily you can tell it has another little notch Let's see if you can see that. Let's get my, come on now. There's a little notch right here, okay? It's flat. So I'm going to put the notch against the notch here on the white. My dogs are barking. And now the lens is, I have the macro lens on it. There's a little notch right here and there's notches in the back. And I'm going to flip I'm going to put my, and you can kind of see where the, the lens is supposed to go on here. And so once you do that, oh my gosh, okay, hold on one second. See, Janice is going to be like, this is going to be interesting. All right. Yeah. Okay. Is that good? I think so. Hold on. Notch. Notch goes in here. So the notch is in here and basically it just kind of, I hopefully I have this right. <laughs> it looks like it. And then it kind of wraps around. You can see how dirty my camera is, my phone is, but then it holds it pretty snug now. And now I can just go ahead and take pictures and let's show you see you can see my studio back there all right let's go take some pictures with this new photo joe joe iris <laughs> any questions of course please ask them down in the comments below and check out my website at Sullivan J photography I'd love to see you there you can connect with me in a variety of social media areas I do macro landscape and historical travel imagery